hello guys so i'm back with another video as i promised and in this video we'll be learning how to work out the problems related to convergence and divergence using limit comparison test okay so as always pause the video take a sheet of paper and pen and let's start together okay i hope now you have the pen and paper with you okay so you can note the first question test for convergence you can read it but i think some of you have a misunderstanding about the denominator no 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 it's not 1.2 it is 1 into 2 anyway i want to read it like this 1 by 1 into 2 plus 3 by 2 into 3 plus 5 by 3 into 4 plus etc okay so whenever they ask a question test for convergence or divergence the first thing is you give it a name so let's call our sequence sigma un okay so we have our sequence 1 by 1 into 2 plus 3 by 2 into 3 plus 5 by 3 into 4 plus dot 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 okay now the next thing to do is we have to extract the general term we have to find the nth term that is we have to find un okay i want you to focus the numerator can you see the first term yeah and i wanted to take a look at the second one the third one etc i think you are able to see an arithmetic progression anyway i have a trick to write the general term first you find the difference what is the difference between the numbers yeah two if the difference is two you just write two into n if the difference is two just go ahead and write two into n okay now i want you to test by putting the value n equal to one what is two into one two now look at the first term is it two no it's one so to create the first term all i have to do is i to subtract i hope it's clear i'll repeat it first take a look at the difference between the terms you can see that the terms in the numerator differs by two it's actually an arithmetic progression but if you want to skip finding the general term using formula of arithmetic progression i have a trick what is the difference between the consecutive terms yeah two if it is two you just write two into n if it is five you write five into n okay now i'm going to check whether it gives me the first term or not and if i want to check that i will insert n is equal to one by the way what is two into one two no i want one how can i change two into one it's very easy now once more if you want to check by inputting the value n equal to one yeah it's correct two into one minus one now you can apply the same logic to the terms which i underline yeah one two three etc it's very easy the difference is one so i'll write one into n and when i input one i get the first term when i input two i get the second term so it's perfect now you can check take a look at this two three four etc okay so i have two three four etc what is the difference one so i'll write one into n now what i do is i replace n with one so i get one but i need two so i'll manipulate and make it n plus one anyway summing all these things I hope you are able to generate un. Okay, now, what is the degree in the numerator? I have written here with yellow color. 
so degree means the power of n after simplification the highest power so in the numerator the highest power of n is 1 and in the denominator once you simplify I think you can see that n square being the highest power so we get 2 now remember the degree of a quotient is the degree of numerator minus degree of denominator so what's the degree of u n it's minus 1 so let's start once more they asked to test for convergence or divergence the first thing I did is I gave it a name and the second thing I did was I wrote the general term and once I wrote the general term I found the degree of the numerator and denominator and hence I calculated the degree of un and remember the limit comparison test works properly if this degree is negative okay now let's move ahead okay. now my plan is to create a new sequence or a series so look at this I'm going to create Vn by writing n to the power degree which I got here and the degree is minus 1 and I'm sure you understood how it became 1 by n because n power minus 1 is 1 by n okay now take a look at this so I took Sigma on both sides and I generated a series so what is Sigma Vn that is Sigma 1 by n and in the previous video I give the theory behind convergence divergence and we discussed the P series we discussed the limit comparison test and using the P series I know that this is going to diverge and that will be equation number one those students who did not watch the first video please pause this video now and watch the previous video and make sure you have a clear understanding about the P series and limit comparison test if you know P series and limit comparison test properly then you will be able to understand the next step okay so let's go through the go through all the steps once more so I want you to focus on the left side of the screen the question was test for convergence the first thing I did was I gave it a name then I found the general term and the next thing I found the degree of the numerator and the denominator and then I wrote the degree of the quotient okay and using this degree I generated a new series which is nothing but a very special case of the P series and we came to know the new series that is Sigma Vn is divergent now it's time to do the step which I gave you in limit comparison test that is you find limit n tends to infinity un by Vn so un is right here and Vn is right here so let's move ahead okay so you get something like this and I'm sure you don't have any problem if I write 2n minus 1 as n into 2 minus 1 by n the reason when n is very large 1 by n will be very small so whenever I get n tends to infinity I try to express everything in terms of 1 by n or maybe 1 by n square or maybe 1 by n cube etc etc because all these quantities will become 0 anyway so this n and n will get cancelled and I hope you are working out the same problem along with me in a sheet of paper okay so did you get this step once more, I'm telling you, 
if you have a minus b you can take a outside but as a compensation you have to write b by a okay let's move ahead so look at this i took n outside so i got 2 minus 1 by n and again in the denominator i got 1 plus 1 by n now i have the steps over here and the first page over here and you can see very clearly this became 0 and we got the value to be equal to 2 okay so do you still remember the condition in limit comparison test yes we want to check whether this limit is not equal to 0 and finite 2 is not equal to 0 isn't it and it's not infinity so it's a finite quantity so that's why I wrote 2 is not equal to 0 and finite. I'm calling it equation number 2. Now I want you to focus on equation 1 which is over here, right over here. Look at the left side of the screen. Yeah, here. So I want you to focus on equation 1 and equation 2. So we have two series sigma un that is our question and the one i constructed with the help of degree that is sigma vn so we have two positive term series and by equation one i know that the second one is divergent and by equation two i know this limit condition works so the conclusion of limit comparison test is both the series will behave alike that means the given series must be divergent and that's it that's it so finally we got the answer so let's try one more question so please note the question it's somewhat similar okay so as before I want you to read the denominator as 1 into 2 into 3. So the question is test for convergence the series 1 by 1 into 2 into 3 etc etc etc. And take a look at the numerator. You can apply the trick I told you when we did the previous question and you will get this. So I am not going to explain till here. First give it a name, then you write the general term and I hope you are enjoying till the step. Now what to do? Follow the yellow line, follow the yellow arrow. Okay, the degree of the numerator, that's the highest power of n. And after simplification, you do that in your mind, no need to expand or anything. So after simplification, the degree of denominator is 3. That means the degree of un is equal to minus 2 degree of numerator minus degree of denominator now how do we construct the new series so how do we construct the new series yeah vn will be n to the power degree and what's the degree minus 2 and what is the n power minus 2 yeah, that is 1 by n square. So, guys, can you tell me what is sigma vn? Yeah, that will be sigma 1 by n square. I hope you are able to see the P series. And from our last video, we know that this is a P series having P value 2. And P value 2 means it's going to converge. So, I hope you are okay with this and I hope you are okay with the next step. So, make sure you call it equation number 1. So, now you tell me what will be the next step. Yeah, the limit, limit. We shouldn't forget the limit from the limit comparison test. So, what we do is we find limit n tends to infinity un by vn. If you have any doubt, 
in the previous steps you can take you can pause the video and you can take a look at the left side of the screen okay so we have un here and we have our vn here so just go ahead and find the limit <coughs> okay so i put un equal to the value of un and vn and did some simplification and i got this and as before look at this the limit n tends to infinity and i know very well when n tends to infinity 1 by n will tend to 0 so my job is to create that 1 by n and the trick is okay let's take 2n minus 1 if you take n outside you get 2 minus 1 by n see i'm able to create 1 by n now we have n plus 1 so if i take n outside i get 1 plus 1 by n okay so i hope you're feeling comfortable with the step so let's cut 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 everything and then n tends to infinity means these quantities will disappear so we have the value 2 so is it not equal to 0 yeah it is not equal to 0 is this quantity finite yes it is finite so as before i wanted to take a look at equation 1 and equation 2 so look at this we have sigma un that is our question and we constructed sigma vn using the degree and by equation 1 we know this is convergent and now i want you to take a look at equation 2 which tells you this limit is not equal to 0 and is finite so combining equation 2 and 1 i know both the series are going to behave alike but the second one is convergent that means our question will also converge so i hope you're okay and you're enjoying the video so i'll be soon back with more problems in comparison this limit comparison test and once we complete limit comparison test we will move on and learn the next test that is called do alembert's ratio test and in some books they don't use the word do alembert's ratio test they simply write ratio test till then bye